Good morning, instructors. Um, I am doing just a few videos for you to um, just get an overview of what should be set up on your Blackboard shelf for your courses. And I'm going to be sharing my screen in just a moment. Um, today, we're just going to talk very quickly about the menu items and what should be on your menu that your students can see. So I'm going to share my screen really quickly, just so you guys can see. I'm using my, um, my online uh, English 101 course just uh, as a sample, just so you could see um, what sh or how it should be set up. And um, what we're looking at over here is this menu here. So um, there's a few things that should be there as per um, the Bebop course, uh, <laughs> course outline. So announcements should be there first. And we'll talk about each of these individually, but just to kind of get a sense of what should be there, you have your announcements and that's how you communicate with your class in terms of posting things for them that will stay up there that they can pop in and out anytime and see. Okay, so announcements should be there. Your course content, which is where you have all of the information for your course, um, any uh, videos, handouts, anything that you post should be in that course content. And I'll show you my course content in a, in a few minutes. Um, I use the calendar. Um, I find that students found this very helpful last semester because they can click on the calendar and see all of the assignments and their due dates throughout the entire semester. So once you post an assignment, it automatically gets posted to their calendar. And then when they click on it, they can see it. And then they can um, actually click on the assignment within the calendar that will take them straight there, okay? Um, most of you are probably using discussion boards and journals. Um, and I'll kind of show you the difference between these two just in a minute. Um, I use course messages, which was encouraged in the training class that I took. The reason for this is that you have a record of every message that you send and receive between any of your, the students. Um, I also find that it's helpful um, when they try to send something with attachments to your email. Sometimes it gets quarantined. I've had students' emails kind of lost in space for a little while. So this messages is really um, a, a great place to just kind of keep all those communications with your students. And then um, my grades which is a place where your students can set up, um, can see the grades for the course for the entire semester. And I'm gonna talk uh, in another video about each of these individually, but this is just kind of an overview. So if you go back here to the announcements, right? Um, the announcements board is, um, and this is really important, this little guy here that says newest announcements will appear, appear below this line. Every announcement that you have will stay here unless you actually delete it. So your students can check back. You can see I posted something um, on January 14th already for my students, and it's just a welcome and a link to the course um, where they can um, can go and, and sort of see what, what's happening. Um, so this is really a, a great place to just put anything that you wanna keep for the entire semester up there. I don't delete announcements throughout the semester. I keep them up there just so students can check in anytime and say, what did you say about that you know, assignment? Or what was that class change? This is a great place because then this is the first thing that students see when they open up your course. It automatically takes them to announcements. So everything that, they, that is important will be on this page for them. And then you can always link, I'll show you really quickly how to do an announcement and you can always link it to um, a specific place in your course if you'd like. So in order to create announcement, you click on this very fancy button called create announcement. And um, you give your announcement a subject title, you know, um, almost all of mine, if you see, we'll say, welcome to week 10, welcome to week 20, or whatever it is. <laughs> and um, if, you know, I'm saying welcome to week 12, that lets the students know that everything that I'm going to be talking about in that announcement is about their week 12 assignment. And so um, typically, I just like to tell them what's coming up, what's due. Um, if we're having class, if you're teaching like a hybrid class or an l run class, are you meeting on campus? Are you meeting live online? Is, it, is there a link to your WebEx or uh, are you using Blackboard Collaborate? Whatever you're linking to, um, is, it's a great place to put it here because if students just go in, they say, oh, where am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be doing? It's right there in the announcement, okay? So, you know, I write this week, um, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And then I usually give them a list of things, you know, uh, return your first draft, whatever. Don't judge me on my typing, please. Um, return your first draft, et cetera, et cetera. I would type everything here. And then um, you have several options to do these announcements. Um, if you want, want to date restrict it, it means you want it to become available. Sometimes if I'm doing announcements ahead of time, I will date restrict it. So I will say, don't display it until, um, you know, 
Monday, the 20, uh, Friday, the 22nd. I don't want my students to see it until then. So you can display the time and the date if you want, um, or you can display until, which means you want it to disappear after a certain a time. I never use that just because you want to keep those announcements up uh, for the whole semester. And then you can also um, check this box, which will actually send them an email on their gateway email of this announcement. So um, they'll be able to know that there's announcement updated. I, used, I usually do that when I do my weekly announcements, or if it's something really important, like a room change or a class cancellation, I will send that announcement immediately just so they have it in their email. Are they going to check it is another story, but at least it's out there um, for them to see. Um, this last spot is um, where you can actually link to something in your course that you want them to go see. So for example, if I'm talking about, let's say my week 12 assignment, I would go here and browse in my course so that I could link it directly to my week 12 assignments. Obviously, I'm just starting out here, so I don't have all of my assignments, but I, let's say I wanna link them to the Start Here folder, which is what I've done in my first announcement, which you'll see. Um, and then when they click on this, when I click to submit, okay, this announcement will appear here, right above the last announcement. Now you'll notice here that it says item is not available because it's not going to be available according to me until the 20. Second, right? That's when I want it to be available. You can see what I wrote, and then you can see the course link. So a student can read this, and then they can click on this, and it will take them right to the course link where I want them to go. Okay. And this just happens to be my Start Here folder, which we'll talk about in another video. Um, but the Start Here folder has everything that they would need to do. Um, let's assume this was the Week 12 folder, but everything will be there. Okay. If at any time you want to edit or change your announcement, so for example, if I say, oh no, I forgot something, I can click on this little um, little arrow here and edit this. And it will ask me basically to input the same things that I've inputted. I can change some things. Um, you know, I can add some things here in that tech space. I can say, never mind. I don't want a date restricted. I want it to go, you know, be available today. I want to change the course information. I want it to be a different folder. Or I want them to go right to the welcome video. Wherever it is that I want them to go, you can vary that at any time. Um, and then you click submit and those changes would take place. If you want to delete an announcement, it's the same thing. You go right to that, um, to that arrow button on the announcement and then you can just delete it and then it's gone. Okay, um, I'm going to talk about all of these different areas here um, and how to use the menu in, um, in another video, but I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a little quick overview and thanks for joining me.